Welcome back to the Metrics World's Strongest Man Final. We're at the Hilton Anaheim in the heart of Orange County, California, as the Fire Engine Bowl continues. With three athletes still to come in the Fire Engine Bowl, the current leaders, Magnus Samuelson, Phil Fister's the second, and they are the only two men to successfully power the 20-ton vehicle over the entire 25-meter course. And that brings us to our overall leader, Marius Pujanowski of Poland. He's closing in on a record time fourth title at the World's Strongest Man. Marius has had one first place finish in three seconds in his first four events. And it's consistency like that that wins championships. Marius' father there with the camera looking on. So he takes the strain and gets set. 75 seconds to cover 25 meters, and he's strapped to 20 times. Great tilt off the start, Todd. And watch the rope. It stays taut the whole time. With those massive arms, he's pulled as hard as he can. And look at those quads. They look like they're going to explode. 48.01 is the time to beat. Marius Pujanowski has got it motoring now as he approaches the 15-meter mark. What a work ethic. He wants to cross the finish line for that massive fire truck. With five meters to go, will he do it? Pujanowski approaches the finish line, and his time... He's done it! Marius has moved into first place, 41.53 seconds. I don't think anyone would disagree with him right now. He certainly is the best in this competition, the way he is just plowing through each event. With the magnetism of the finish line, Marius can almost smell the fourth title. He's in absolutely amazing shape. Ladies that is going to be a tough act to follow, and it will fall on England's Terry Hollins to do so. The Englishman is currently in fourth place in the overall standings. Terry's put on a fantastic show. Obviously, the chances of catching Marius Pujanowski are not great, but a position on the podium is certainly within his reach. Well, Kazi certainly has the size to be successful in this event. At almost 400 pounds, that extra 100 over Marius has got to give him an advantage. He's got massive legs and a really nice pace going here. That truck's really moving. He's got 75 seconds to complete the 25-meter course. He is strapped to the 20-ton fire truck. This is Terry Hollins, the time to beat 41.53 seconds. Quick hands, Kaz. Nice technique. And he's really determined. This may move him up in the standings, and he knows it. 6'6", 386 pounds is Englishman Terry Hollins. Has got under five meters to go. This is going to be close. He's done it, 41.41 seconds. Terry Hollins moves into the lead. Well, the big Englishman is absolutely spent. He needed a big performance here to move up the overall leaderboard, and that's exactly what he got. What an effort by Terry Hollins. The big man got the fire engine rolling and expended every last ounce of energy to take it over the line. The new leader standing by with Kaz. Terry, 40,000 pounds, 400 pounds. Somehow it's not fair. Um, no, it's not. Um, it was a really tough truck pull that was. Um, as I was getting towards the end, I thought there's no way I'm going to finish this, but I'm just pleased I did. The last thing, last couple of meters seems to be so tough, but no, I'm really pleased with that. Was it fast hands, fast feet, combination? Just fast feet. Try and keep the hands pumping through the middle bit, ready for the uphill at the end. Great race. Thanks very much. Thank you. Sebastian Venta is the only man with a chance to remove Terry Holland's name from the leaderboard in the Ladies fire engine pole. If it weren't for the unreal exploits of Marius Pujanowski, Sebastian Venta would be the main talking point of the 2007 World's Strongest Man. Venta. Sebastian has been a revelation. I'm sure everyone knew that he was talented, but no one would have expected him to put it all together so quickly. Unfortunately for Sebastian, he could have issues with this event. He doesn't have the lower body muscle mass that some of the other competitors have. He has 75 seconds to complete the 25-meter course. Fire truck, 40,000 pounds. And if he doesn't get down, he's not going to get this thing moving. There he goes. Well, Kaz, this is only his second year at the World's Strongest Man. He's been stellar up to this point. What do you think about his form? I don't see a real hard pull on the rope. And his legs and feet are moving back and forth, side to side. He's not directing his power down the course. 
One more observation. He's really high. He's not willing to take the pain. Well, he will not beat the time of Terry Holland, so he will get the victory. But this is not bad. Trying to edge out every last man he can to squeeze out the points for the overall. As he comes to the line, he's starting to slow. He stops it at 51.93, and he's just happy to be done. So that gives Sebastian Venta fourth place as he hugs fellow countryman Marius Pujanowski. What a punishing total body event. And for Terry Holland's a big moment, he gets the victory in the fire engine pole. His girlfriend Carly to give him a little kiss. Terry Holland's edges Marius Pujanowski by .12 seconds to get the victory in the fire engine pole. Magnus Samuelson was third and fourth. It was Sebastian Venta. Phil Fister was fifth. Hope, Oslin, Nee, and Felix were credit for distance as they did not complete the course. After five of seven events, Marius Pujanowski is firmly in command. Venta is in second. Then it's Hollins, Fister, and Samuelson. Oslin, Felix, Nee, and Pope are six through nine. Let's go to Bill Kazmaier to tell us about the next challenge in store for these strongmen. Todd, the car walk is not about what's under the hood. It's about legs, core, and heart. With 880 pounds strapped to their shoulders, these athletes will pay a tremendous toll every step down this 25-meter course. It's a World's Strongest Man Classic, and it's next. 